You're looking at pictures from CTV's Chopper 9 over top an absolutely horrific crash in Surrey. It happened at the intersection of 176th Street and 32nd Avenue this morning. Two vehicles were involved. As you can see, debris scattered across the entire area. Some first responders are calling it the worst collision they've ever seen. And all five people are confirmed dead in the crash. Good evening. Among the victims in this collision, three adults and two children. CTV's Penny Daphlos is live on the scene tonight. And Penny, it was so chaotic today that we understand that there was actually some confusion about the death toll. That's right. They were dealing with a crime scene here that uh, was so complex and so gruesome. At first, they thought that six victims were actually involved. Mounties have now confirmed that that was only five, all traveling together. One witness tells me one of them was an infant in a car seat. They collided in the intersection with such speed. I just saw the silver SUV kind of fly in front of me. It was actually a minivan that landed on its roof. The sedan it smashed into was sheared right in half by a pole. We were sitting there, all you hear is bang, and like a bomb going off. And over here, it's soil. The house vibrated. Witnesses ran to help, but the mangled hunks of metal speak to how hopeless the situation was. It was not something that anyone would ever want to see. The most gruesome, devastating kind of injuries to children and adults that rattled even veteran first responders. It's a bad situation. I was sitting there with one of the firefighters, and he, he was bawling. He was crying. From my experience of 26 years in the RCMP, attending multiple motor vehicle crashes, multiple homicides, one of the most horrific scenes I've ever seen. According to witnesses, the minivan was speeding when it ran a red light around 11 a.m. It'll take a lot of work to figure out all the details. This is a crime scene that is so widespread, covers hundreds of meters. There are pieces of evidence where pieces of evidence shouldn't be. The minivan's driver was airlifted to hospital but is expected to survive. Mounties already calling him a suspect. When I think about it, I just want to cry because it's not, I don't even know these people, but just seeing some little baby, just seeing when they were covering the body. Obviously, Penny, this is a really sad story. So what happens now? Well, this is still a very active investigation scene. In fact, the bodies were taken away just a few minutes ago, and this crash happened at about 11 o'clock this morning. So we're expecting this area to be closed off for some time, yet no traffic coming through as the work continues. Mounties are also still working to notify the next of kin and won't be releasing any identities until that work is done. All right. Thanks, Penny. That's CTV's Penny Daflos reporting live from Surrey.